Hello, this is Jessica Kazork here to tell you a brief overview of the collaboration between Special Olympics, uh, myself, Jessica Kazork, as a project manager and my creative team, and to Parrot Productions. When Special Olympics approached us, their challenge was to create clinical training videos to dramatically increase the productivity of professional healthcare volunteers, and they wanted to save money on the, all the time that, that they put into training people to do the medical evaluations at the uh, big games. So the solution was Jessica Kazorik manages a team to complete the following scope of work. Uh, strategic development meetings with Special Olympic staff, location shoot at the U.S. National Games in Nebraska, editing and DVD authoring of three videos and behind the scenes footage, uploading to YouTube for global distribution, Two Parrot Productions also awarded Special Olympics with two video production grants to fund portions of the on-location shoot in Nebraska. So we took off for Nebraska. That's me on the left. That's my uncle John Kizorik in the back. Spent a week at the, at the U.S. National Games. Awesome. When we got there, they, they had all these evaluations. While the sports are going on above ground, they've got... Uh, medical evaluations that go on behind the scenes and they've got all these medical professionals to evaluate but it's very complicated the directions they give you they have their force to do on-site training almost every time with the new medical volunteers and it was very costly and very time consuming for them so they wanted multimedia that people could get trained on their own time they could watch youtube clips answer survey questions so they really wanted to simplify it and add multimedia to make it much richer for the volunteers and so everyone was on the same page uh, we did videos this is a we did several two uh, 15 minute videos and here's a sample of one of the videos we shot for them again clearly outlining what role the medical volunteer played and making sure all the evaluations were correct when an athlete first enters the screening venue a volunteer registers them and begins entering information on the Healthy Athlete Software, or HAAS form. This form can be completed on the computer or by hand. It is critical that all registration and screening information that is entered on the form be complete and legible. The person registering the athlete has been trained to ask the athlete several questions about routine physical activity levels and stretching behaviors. All right, here's another example of one of the clips uh, leading the, making sure the healthcare professional, again, did not need the on-site training before being able to do these things proficiently. The seated push-up test assesses strength in the upper extremity and scapular muscles. This is particularly important for athletes who use wheelchairs. The test is performed on the floor for safety, but can be done very carefully on a table if the athlete cannot get to the floor. It can also be done in a wheelchair for those athletes who cannot transfer. The hands are placed on the blocks. The and part of the, in addition to making sure all the volunteers knew exactly what was going on, it, it gave them an opportunity to really sort of see what this was going to be like before getting to the scene. So it prepared them. Um, they are ultimately going to have higher rates of people coming in and volunteering because it's very clear about what they can expect. While we were there, they also had many sponsors, Essilor, Alliance, Philo, Carry Free were, were four of the top ones that we made short video clips for each of the sponsors, highlighting the role that the corporate sponsors played in the games and the Healthy Athletes program. Uh, the new training videos, you can see here, result of grant from production company. We were featured in Special Olympics Healthy Athletes Update, which was very exciting for us. We're very proud of the work. Uh, this is a great video I love. But part of our assignment was to really get in close and to analyze what, you know, to, to get into the, the skin of these uh, participants and the athletes and what it was like for them. So we were able to capture some really great emotion with Nick talking about the R word uh, and doing a social media campaign too with the, the, to tie into 
uh, the end the word, uh, spread the word to end the word campaign they were doing. So we were able to do a multitude of different videos on site to help them with social media, with email marketing, all of that. The assignment as we finish up is the management of the creative team. That's something I did. Strategic pre-production planning, a visual adaptation of written materials, on location video shoot at US National Games, motion graphics and animation, uh, three edited training videos. One was 45 minutes, the other two were 15 minutes, and uploading all of the clips to YouTube for global distribution. Uh, this is a great testimonial from our uh, person we worked with, David Evangelista. He said, it was a pleasure working with Jessica and Two Parrot, and I look forward to working further with them. Jessica is high energy, innovative professional who brings multimedia expertise, strong collaboration, communication skills, and the flexibility necessary for on-site modifications. Woohoo! Two Parrot has demonstrated a strong ability to deliver all contractual obligations in the most timely manner has remained consistently available for follow-up calls, correspondence, and has helped us expand the reach of our clinical training videos to more professionals worldwide. Yes. It is my hope that our collaboration with Two Parrot Productions will extend into 2011 and beyond given the quality of the products delivered. So again, if you want more info about this uh, or have needs similar to the Special Olympics, please contact me, jk at jessicakazorik.com. And there's my phone number below.